Welcome to week 11. It's the penultimate week of e-marketing and it's the one in which we're going to talk about mobile phones. We are on the second last week so let's dive in, get it underway. I'm pretty confident you're under pressure for other tasks as well. Obviously plug in through the Slido, say hi uh, on the way through, grab your handouts from the waddle. After this there's a couple of things I want you to be able to chat about on the forums, uh, particularly your speculation about but also we're at the delivery end of the hammer on the self-self internship and that is about putting your metrics into analysis. This week we're going to have a little practice around the how could a marketer use something. So we're going to do a little bit of that mindset practice again this week. Mobile phones. If you have one, well I've been asking you to use your mobiles during the semester as stopwatches. So you're either addressing it as, yes, I play a game, this is my game, this is what it does, or, no, I don't play a game, this is what it's missing. Either way. So yeah, there's no dodging this question. Friends, it's the timer application up on the phone. Stand by for 10 minutes on the clock. Uh, pause the tape and welcome back. Up on the thread, your forum thread, you'll see there's a recommendation for, hey, tell us what, tell us what you're playing. But the second exercise. So you've thought about your mobile phone as an entertainment platform. I'd like you to think about your mobile phone as an access portal, as a point of contact. Have you intentionally set out to use something that is mobile friendly in the support of your project? Now I'm going to take a moment here just to say that when I decided that I was going to do a YouTube series, I didn't initially think about mobile phone users. But then I got feedback from a couple of people who watched the episodes on their phones. And they're like, I had to scroll in a lot because I would use smaller subtitles. I wouldn't, my text wouldn't fit. Now in the context of the subject and this video right now, I am assuming that you are desktop based because I keep asking you to use a document that requires a desktop editor. If you are watching this on a mobile phone with a laptop beside the laptop, uh, my apologies for the entire season of impossible to read file on the side there. Sorry. Um, but this is the question I'm asking is looking back now at your project, was there an opportunity to have it be mobile friendly and, or was it something that wasn't on the radar and looking back now, what could have been barriers for mobile phone use to engage? We know the drill. It's 10 minutes on the clock. Break the timer, start the clock, pause the video. All right, now this is an interesting one because if you have thought this through, my question for you up on the discussion is, how have you used your mobile in your project? All right, last exercise. This is speculation. This one is a mindset trainer. This is where in the TPR, you will be asked to project and say, what could a marketer do? What would be a future use? So here, what I'd like to do is I'd like you to take eight minutes and jot down the ideas of what's what's on the radar? What's the next big thing in mobile marketing? Get in and speculate. Tell me about applications, about activities, about hardware or software, what you see as the future perfect. And to do that, eight minutes on the clock, kick off the timer, pause the video, and I will see you in a moment. And welcome back. Two things about this exercise. One is it's just fun to be able to speculate and say, hey, this is what I think could happen. And two, it's also a really interesting area that you can come back to later and say, hey, called it. Uh, now I'm gonna just say, I will, I'm still waiting for the great leap forward in augmented reality. Augmented reality, that's my next big thing in mobile. All right, post room post. Uh, this is your last chance to ask. Get into the Padlet and the forum. If there's anything you want to know about the assessment task, any areas of clarification, there's the thread open to talk about what else you'd like to know. Same goes for the portfolio. Anything you'd like to know, ask away. I will respond, I will react, and I will help you out. These assessment tasks are here to showcase learning, to showcase that you know and you have attained the learning outcomes of the subject. So I want to see that happen. And also, I'm the one marking them, so I want to have a really interesting time and I'm really looking forward to seeing this. It's really exciting to me to be able to read and review this stuff, be able to say, well, what was your project? How'd it go? What was it like? What was the experience? Uh, so I'm looking, 
I want people to do well, and so if there's any doubt you have about any aspect of it, please reach out and get in touch, post up on the forums in particular, because chances are if you've got the concern, someone else might as well, and you're backing your mate and helping your mate out. Stay in the, forum, in the forums, a couple of weeks left of participation and engagement, get in there, have some fun. If you need me, you know where to find me, consultation times. And with that, we're done. Cheers, mates. Penultimate episode, second to last. Almost done.